Hi folks, Total Sales Solutions in Jackson, Mississippi, where we sell trucks, diesel trucks. We sell lots of them, folks. Today we're going to list an awfully nice truck. It's a 2008 Ford F-350 Lariat, turbo diesel, four-wheel drive. Got just about every option, folks. It's got navigation, windows, door locks, got, got, got everything you'd put on a Lariat, plus navigation and all that. Good miles on it, sitting on a matching set of Nitto tires, expensive tires. Got a four inch lift on it, the spares underneath it, just like it ought to be. This is a nice truck. It's a pretty truck. Come on, we'll show it to you. It does have a ranch hand bumper on it. And that's a real ranch hand, it's not a homemade ranch type. You know what those things cost a lot. Got an LED bar uh, right here. A beautiful truck, got a great stance to it, you can see here. It's got it's a real lift, it's not just a leveling kit, I think it's a Fabtech, I'm not 100% sure, but Fox shocks. It's been its life in Texas, so you can see there's no rust issues or any of that. You can look down the side, just not dinged and pinged. Look in here, this is the original interior. We did not insert these seats. Headliner's great. Steering wheel, look how nice that steering wheel is. Navigation, uh, power seats, of course, windows, door locks, tilt crews, and all that. Memory seats. Look here. Not kicked up, not skinned up, not bruised up. No mud packed in the doors. You can see right here how fresh this is. Look at this, paint. And we didn't do that, so that'll show you she's never been in the mud. Well, never done any of that. It's not been a farm truck or a work truck. I wouldn't suspicion. But you can look back here and see how new it is. Sliding rear window. You can lift up these seats. I'll have them in the pictures. There's fold-out trays for flat floor, extra power outlets, cab corners, all that stuff's perfect. Power rear window. Uh, well, look back here and you can see. It's got the extra leaf for the camper package. It looks like the original spare under it, but you can look under here and see that there's no rust issues. And it's not browned up, so it's not been in water and mud and all that. It's got a few pecks, but nothing major. You can tell it ain't been living out on gravel roads and, and stuff. And calls this the old man uh, bumper because he's not an old man yet. But someday it's got, I assume that's the original spray-in bed liner. You can see it's not beat up. It's not ever been cut and all that it's not not cut for a gooseneck or a fifth wheel pulling stuff we'll put this up and show you what it looks like uh, this is a great looking truck look got one this. little ding look like they dropped it on a tongue jack of a trailer but nothing too serious got the parking sensors look down the side that's the only thing i've seen on it there may be some others but i've not noticed them or seen them it's a good set of tires. Incubus 20 inch wheels. A pretty expensive set of wheels. Back here. Once again, how neat and clean it is. You can see the tray folds out. See the door pockets not full of crud. It hasn't been a work truck. Power on both sides. Look in here how clean it is. Once again, if you rub this off, that's original. You can see, you can, I mean, you can read a book and that is so, and you can't do that to trucks that have been buffed and waxed and been in the mud, dirt and all that. But this is a really nice truck. The carpet's like new. The dash is not cracked or any of that. There's no cracks, period, in the leather that I see. You see any? I don't see a one. Fireworks, you see the seat. Nice, nice truck here. An affordable truck. Especially those of you who went out and tried, looked at buying a new one and saw the, saw the price. God knows what to pay for that rich hand bumper. But it, I mean, they're just stupefying. Uh, it's got about five grand worth of upgrades between the lift, the wheels, the tires, the bumper, the bank system and everything. Bank system. It's got a bank system on it, folks. And, you know, those things can be a couple of thousand dollars. They can be five or six thousand. So, uh, we, Before you ask that little black thing, somebody lost their weave, I guess. We're not in the best part of town. Nah, based on what's going on around the world. But anyhow, 
it's a nice truck, folks. It's going to be a bargain. It's a value. If you've been looking for a truck like this, you need a one-ton truck, you won't find one any cheaper than this. And you certainly won't find one any nicer. It's a 2008 F350, Ford F350 Lariat, turbo diesel, four-wheel drive, fully, fully loaded. Fully. I'm talking Equip, about loaded, not stripped. Uh, navigation and all that. Sitting on a good set of tires, the spares under it. It's not been abused in any way. Someone's going to get a nice truck. Thanks so much for watching our video, folks. We do appreciate it. Look forward to visiting with you about this 2008 F350 and seeing you here in Jackson, Mississippi. Thank you. Hi, folks. Dan Dow here. You've been listening to my dad talk about this truck. Now I'm going to take you on a test drive. Just want to show you a few things first. It's got the memory settings. Uh, both mirrors power fold the Kenwood navigation system with Garmin maps. It's not a cheapo navigation system. It's a high dollar power pedal, parking sensors, no command, up there switches, um, power slide and rear window, We've got the sunglasses holder, map pocket, the windshield is perfect, no uh, cracks, no rock picks or anything on it. Uh, goes right in and well, I'll show you the four wheel drive real quick. Uh, you'll have to excuse my shaky camera work. I'm filming with one hand and driving with the other. You can see going the four high, go out. The steering wheel like we showed you is in great shape. Uh, no issues there. The only thing I've noticed, this mirror will fold, but it's slower than the other mirror. So uh, just something to keep in mind. Not really a big deal. Um, dual zone automatic climate uh, shows you the outside temperature and um, like I said the video may come out a little rough but rest assured the truck itself has a great ride and drive I'm just driving on some of the worst streets in Jackson and you know to have a 4 inch lift this thing has a good ride to it it's not going to knock your teeth out or anything and one thing you can take away from all of these potholes and stuff is that it's tight. There's no clunks or bangs coming from the front end. All that stuff is like it should be. Got the power slide and rear window that does work. Automatic dimming rear view mirror. This truck fires right up, hot or cold. Uh, no cold start issues. And whether you buy from us or whomever, you always want to hear a Ford truck crank cold because if it's going to act up, that's when it's going to act up. So make sure you hear it crank cold. Um, goes down the road straight, doesn't pull to the left or right, doesn't pull or vibrate when you hit the brakes. The air conditioning, of course, is cold. This truck came from uh, Dallas, Texas, so it's 81 here. I think it's 100 there today, so believe me, they got good air conditioning in their trucks. That's one thing you don't have to worry about. Um, but if you want to fly in the Jackson International Airport here in Jackson, Mississippi, you are more than welcome to do so. We'll be glad to pick you up at the airport during our regular business hours. We'll come back here to our office, do the paperwork and feedback and everything, let you get on the road. Or if you're like our, a lot of our customers, you're from the Northeast, from the Midwest, you're buying from us because, because we have rust-free trucks and we have great deals. So we understand with everything going on between uh, looters and corona and everything else you may want not want to spend several days driving or flying in and driving home so if that's the case with you don't let the idea of dealing with shipping scare you off from this truck if you look online for prices don't let those prices scare you off because depending on how much of a hurry you're in we can save you as much as half off so if you're interested Shoot me a text, 601-376-9869 with your zip code and which truck you're interested in. And let me get you a good ballpark figure on shipping. And if you're anywhere near Dallas or Houston or Atlanta or pretty much anywhere in the state of Florida, then I can get you a real good deal on shipping. So just uh, shoot me a text. I'll get you a good ballpark figure on that shipping. Basically, the way it works is you either... FedEx us a cashier's check or do a bank wire for the truck only, just the price of the truck. We'll arrange the shipping, send you the title and all the paperwork, and uh, when the truck shows up, you just hand the driver cash for the shipping. 
we don't make anything, we don't get a markup or whatnot. Most of these guys you find online will charge you hundreds of dollars and call it a deposit, but it's really their broker's fee, and we don't charge a broker's fee to our customers. Although if you're not our customer, uh, we'll arrange shipping for 50 bucks, and you'll still come out ahead, but for our customers, it's free. So if you're interested, just uh, shoot me a text, or you can call me. If I don't answer, hang up and shoot me a text. If you have any questions about the truck, about the bank system, it has been tuned and deleted. So that's the one thing you want to know has been done to a 6.4 because unlike these newer trucks, the way a 6.4 cleans this exhaust filter is by dumping extra fuel into the rear two cylinders. And of course that kills your fuel economy and it puts extra wear and strain on the motor. But once you delete it, you pick up anywhere from three to seven miles per gallon, depending on how you drive. And you remove a lot of complexity from the engine and, and lighten the load that's being put on the engine. So it's just, it's a win-win. You always want a 6.4 that's been deleted, uh, DPF deleted, like this truck's been. Um, if you have any questions about that, like I said, give me a call, 601-376-9869. I'd be glad to answer any questions you may have about it. Now we've been driving a while now. I want to show you the dash. You can see no engine lights, ABS, airbag, brake lights, no warning lights of any kind. I like to show the dash after I've been driving a while because you know it's easy to kill a service light with your scanner, take a picture and say, oh look, no lights. But if there's a problem and you haven't fixed it, then as soon as you go to driving, that light's going to come right back on. So. That's why I like to show the dash after we've been driving a little while, just so you can see for yourself that there really are no lights lit. So, beyond that, if you have any questions about the truck, give me a call. Want to know what it takes to buy it, want to make an offer, want to know about shipping, about the, the lead, any of that, give me a call. 601-376-9869. Appreciate you watching the video. Look forward to seeing you here in Jackson, Mississippi. Thank you.